We spoke to one of those survivors today, just a year after the first case of coronavirus was announced in Nashville. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen tells us he was one of the first patients to get really sick, spending more than a month in the hospital. Waking up from a near-death experience was a reality shock for Isaiah Lowela. Realizing how close I came to not being here. I mean, it's, 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 it's amazing. I'm so grateful and thankful for, for the second chance at life. Uh, everything has a new meaning and, a, and I have a different perspective about everything. He was one of the first patients in Middle Tennessee to spend 53 days in the hospital for COVID-19 and survive. I'm thankful to the moon and back and back again. He credits his nurses and doctors at Williamson Medical Center with saving his life. They clapped for him when he left the hospital last year. So looking back on it, I am still utterly amazed. Utterly, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Unfortunately, he's still dealing with long-term side effects. It's been settled that I lost 40% of the functionality of my lungs. That's permanent. He has chronic pain and not a lot of stamina, so he can't work as a chef anymore. Eventually, Isaiah was able to get unemployment. He's also looking into getting disability. It was challenging. He just turned 47 years old and is making sure he doesn't take anything for granted. And I tell my friends, you know, I, this is my birthday month. I'm celebrating the whole month uh, because it's, it's worth celebrating. That, I, that I'm even here. A second chance at life, something he doesn't take lightly. I can tell you even more so, live life fully. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Thanks, Alexandra. And Isaiah is excited because he's scheduled to get his COVID-19 vaccine next week, and he's far from alone.